Hey there, it's Aaron. In this video, I am going to colorize and restore the image that is on our screen. Now, being honest, this is an image that was AI generated, but it has all the characteristics of a vintage photo that would need to be uh, retouched, including things like, it's difficult to tell until you zoom in, but there's some border on the side. Of course, the, the halo aura horseshoe around her here of torn paper and really the main thing is that it's going to bring her to life as soon as we colorize so we'll get to that but the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of these bars on the side let's go ahead and do that like that and just like that I'm going to go ahead and all at the same time go around that border and see if it essentially does the same as Photoshop generative AI fill because that is really what it is that I'm asking it to do and it really kind of seems like that is what the function is so it should just take another second here before it finishes processing excellent so it did just as I was hoping it finished off this side finished off this side still left her shoulder and it got rid of that black border on the sides. Great. Since we're having so much success with that, let's just increase the size of the brush a little bit. And I'm going to go in here and just paste, paint all around her. And I'll try not to get her hat or her hair, which may need some further attention. We'll bring it down just like that and let that process away. So hit enter here let that do its thing she is already coming to life she looks pretty happy about the whole situation she's easy going seems like she's pretty chill here it's almost finished processing there's some decent detail in this image too i do wish that her eye was more perfect but it is what it is so there you go took care of that problem She's looking like, she, you know, she was captive and now she's free. So that's great for her. Let's go ahead and I'm going to, let's do the colorization. So under filter, neural filters, it's just as simple as hitting one button, which is right here, colorize. And as soon as you hit colorize, it springs into action, colorizing. And just like that, we have a vibrant figure in front of us. We'll accept that. Now, she's doing really well, I would say, at this point. The thing that she needs is, I think she'll come to life more with a background sort of environment for her. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to hit here, select subject. And that should do a nice mask outline all around her. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit layer mask. So now that canvas behind there is transparent, which is excellent. I'm going to create a new layer and put it behind that one. And now I'm going to select with the marquee tool. I will select the entire background. And here I'm going to type in for a background idea mountains and forest muted misty b-o-k-e-h bouquet effect and we will see what this does it will give us a couple of variations as well so we should have some decent variation to choose from at least one of them should work out i'm pretty hopeful see that looks pretty good number two that looks very nice and number three, I would go with number two and probably call it a day, to be honest with you. Now, looking at her here, I do want to go in and there are still some issues, some issues on her, on her face. Let's go back to our remove tool and we'll go ahead and get rid of this action right here. Get that close into her face. Processing. I keep forgetting that I have remove after each stroke turned off. 
We'll let that process. Great. Get rid of that blemish right there. Reduce the size of the brush a little bit. And let's get rid of her. You'll see what I mean about the pupil there. We'll get rid of her huge black eye that she's got there. I think she would appreciate that. And the same thing here on the other side. Don't really want to touch the eyelash. That should work out. Put that process away. Get rid of that fine line to an extent there. We still want it to be natural enough looking. And what else does she need? Some little wispies here. I'll just get rid of those real quick. Like that. That might have been an unnecessary one. Oh, that looks great. A little wisp here. Take care of that for her. Looking good. So is there anything else that's jumping out here? Let's just quickly take a look around the canvas. Take that out of the mix just because we're here and doing that. I think overall though, we're looking pretty good. Let's have a look at our subject in all of her glory. So we took a crappy little black and white image that had a torn paper border all around it. And she was just looking terrible. I mean, black eyes, wrinkles, hair all over the place. So I think that we've definitely done our character here some justice. Let's name her Aunt Melba. So Melba, there you go. We went from the 1920s to the 2020s. I hope that you enjoyed this quick video. If you did, then like and subscribe to encourage me to make more of them. And I will see you the next time.